I'd like to introduce Todd Kirkpatrick from Your Solar Home. Welcome, Todd. Tom, thanks for having me. Your Solar Home makes a, uh, a solar panel system that does hot air called the solar sheet. Correct. That's right. And so you see behind us the two uh, solar sheets uh, mounted on this uh, on our home on the west wall. Maybe you can tell us about a bit about it, the principles involved in sure. the panels. Sure. Well, the solar sheet product, Tom, is essentially a uh, solar air space heating system. The actual two collectors, in this case, which you have mounted on the wall, uh, the first collector on the right is known as the 1500G solar sheet, and it's kind of sister or brother, uh, the 1500GS. Both panels work uh, in conjunction with one another. They can provide solar space heating to a residence, uh, or they can be connected to, in your case, a, uh, an HRV system, which is located in the basement. Uh, both panels uh, working together with an HRV can provide a high efficiency device and uh, provide fresh warm air preheating to the residents, along with heat recovery and full-time ventilation in this case, uh, which you have a lovely ICF home here. So uh, you get the best of, uh, of all of uh, both worlds in this mm -hmm. case. Now, most people, when they're looking at this product, uh, when, they, when they're calling you, inquiring about the product, I'm assuming most people are looking for probably the one or two sheets in, in a house that's already built. Correct. So if, if it's a, an existing home that's already built, the solar sheet or sheets can be applied to a south-facing wall or a west-facing wall to provide space heating to that residence. Uh, in the case of new home construction as we have here, uh, you've obviously, because it is an airtight home, uh, installed an HRV for the fresh air full-time ventilation. Uh, in this case, the solar sheets and the HRV both can be installed during new home construction. If it was an existing home or a retrofitted home, uh, it may be a bit more difficult to install an HRV after the fact uh, because you, you have to open up walls. But uh, if it's just a solar sheet system, very quickly an installer can knock two holes in the wall, two five inch holes, and the solar sheet can be installed on a wall within a few hours and you can be up and running. In that retrofit scenario, you mentioned two holes in the wall. It's kind of acting like a recirculation, taking the air out of the room, warming it, bringing it back into the room. Is that the principle? That's correct. The solar sheet really is a, a, a solar uh, air re recirculation system. So uh, in this case, since you have two panels, uh, the first hole for the ventilation or the, or the heat is at the top of the right panel and the uh, hole for the air intake is at the uh, diagonal of the left of the bottom panel. Uh, in this case, since you have an HRV system, uh, we just have uh, one hole at the top and then the fresh air kits applied to uh, the right. panels. Yeah. Right. We're also talking about two different modes here. The fresh air application where we're using it to warm up the fresh air, bring it into the house. That is correct. Or that recirculation mode where it's just kind of recirculating, warming up, uh, kind of almost accumulating the heat within a room. That's correct. Again again. Now I know when, when people have asked me kind of the principle even just kind of what, what you're seeing in terms of the, the panels. Uh, I just, you know, kind of said, you know, it's kind of like your black car with your windows up. That's right. The technology that we're using here uh, isn't anything out of science fiction. Uh, it's fairly simple technology. Uh, what we're doing here in this case is the mechanism is a glazed or it has glass, in this case tempered glass on both of these panels. Uh, and then underneath the glass is something we call an absorber or a black uh, aluminum coated uh, with a coating called Kynar in this case. There are some more advanced coatings used in the solar thermal world, uh, but this particular coating is very effective. In fact, about 94%, uh, it will absorb 94% of the solar radiation. And then in behind the panel, we do something called convection. And uh, it's very relatively simple process. The sun hits the absorber and the air heats up in behind, and then we pull air from the house and then return it to the top of the collector. And this process happens over and over and over again until the sun is essentially gone. Hmm. So uh, very simple process and very effective. Let's go inside because okay. I know we've got, super. It, we've got it hooked up inside um, and, uh, and take a look at some of those connections. Okay, okay, super, great. So we've come inside the house here now. This is the west wall that has the solar sheets mounted on the opposite side of this ICF wall. And uh, so now the heat is blowing inside. Um, I know you mentioned it has a PV panel to be able to move that heat through the panels and up into the house. That's correct, Tom. Uh, what we have, obviously, like you just mentioned, we have the ductwork here coming inside the home from the top of the solar sheet. The 1500G solar sheet, the one with the PV panel, is providing enough fan power to push 
the warm air during sunny conditions in through that ductwork down into the HRV. There's also the additional fan power uh, or draw from the HRV also assisting in that process and bringing that heat down to the basement. So then with the HRV, we've ducted that HRV in it. And so really we're using that HRV as a, as a heat distribution medium. That's correct. What you, essentially the HRV is becoming is, or has become with the addition of the solar sheet two pack is almost a, a mini solar heating ventilation system of sorts. That's that one application as we're using it here. For somebody that wanted to use a retrofit application in a recirculation mode, we would have a, a vent like this. Yes. And then another one down at the bottom. That's correct. There'd be uh, a vent at the top with a round diffuser for the warm air or the exhaust. And then on the bottom of the wall, there'd be another round diffuser for the air to come in off of the floor and then up through the two panels on the outside and then out through the exhaust. Hmm. So that recirculation uh, version of the product, is yes. that something that, uh, that uh, you could do it yourself? Is Absolutely. The, uh, the beauty of the recirculation uh, product, whether it be a single solar sheet or in this case a two-pack or two solar sheets, is that it can be installed with, with relative ease uh, by a home handy person or a contractor uh, within a few hours on an outside wall. When the sun's shining, does this thing just run continuously or is there some kind of level of control over the product? Yeah, that's a great question. Inside the solar sheet, we have a sensor and the sensor is set to 20 Celsius or roughly 69 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, when the solar sheets reach that temperature, there's a check to see whether or not the thermostat is set to on and there is indeed a call for heat. And once that happens, then the solar sheet starts heating until the sun is no more or the room has met its temperature condition. Hmm. So it doesn't kick in, of course, until there's enough sun going on, and as soon as there is, there is a thermostat that can turn it off so a, a house isn't going to get overheated. So for the average home, is there a sense of what the payback would be on, on the product? Yeah, so a solar sheet two pack can provide roughly, as said a little bit earlier, about two kilowatts of heat. Uh, right now that translates into about a 30% saving on space heating if it is ducted into the principal living area where the additional thermostat is that controls the, the, uh, the furnace. Mm -hmm. uh, right now with natural gas prices being at an all-time cyclical low, the payback is a bit longer, but if you benchmark it or compare it against electricity, the payback can be about eight years approximately on a, on a two-pack solar sheet heating system. Mm. Uh, much more than the payback, it's also, uh, you know, how green are you making your home? Uh, you know, all the fact that you don't have to cycle your furnace or run your furnace throughout the day uh, is, a, is a big thing for a lot of people. And uh, believe it or not, a lot of new home buyers now are looking for energy efficient inside homes like solar panels, you know, ICF construction in this case, you know, high efficiency windows. So mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're accomplishing that here obviously mm -hmm. uh, with this home. I know for us when we looked at some of those payback numbers and um, and looking at about an, an, an eight year period, yep. uh, certainly that's part of the, the, the practical side of this, yep. but we also knew it was just kind of the right thing to do. That's right. And that's uh, right. wherever we can pick up some solar input into the house yep. uh, and you provided a way to uh, to make that more possible. Absolutely. No, I, I have a firm belief, uh, not because I'm in the solar uh, panel manufacturing business, is that energy prices will continue to escalate due to peak oil and the fact that resources that we're using to heat our homes are finite and uh, it just it's logical that people start to uh, think about their use of energy and uh, and the application of it. Hmm. Okay, great. Yeah, thank you. Todd. Thank you.